Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Finally back with a new video. I know it's been way too long since I uploaded. Ooh, dead bird. But uh, yeah, summer doldrums have been really sinking in for me. I, I've been going weeks without catching anything. So today I decided to come out here to Montauk. I'm gonna try to go for some summertime striped bass. I'm just hoping we could get into a few schoolies or something out here just to catch a striper again. It, it's been a while, so I think I'm gonna start out right away. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's still kind of dark out. The uh, Fishaholic Finback Shad, we got it in the Wonder Bread color. I'm gonna use a, a three quarter ounce jig head with that because the tide is still really low. It's just switching over to incoming tide now. We'll see what happens. Let's try the morning right now, see if we get some striped bass and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I came out here pretty far, kind of standing on a small rock under the water. We're gonna try a few casts right here. But we got some good conditions, tons of white water, some nice small rolling breakers. Let's hope we get some bass out here. It's been way too long. Oh, we were just getting bit. Oh wow, that was like right here in front of me too. It was a small schoolie. All right, so first cast, we had a bite like 10 feet in front of me. Let's see, I think I think I see bass feeding right here. Oh yeah, I'm getting hit. Oh yeah, they hit. Yeah, we go, fish on. <laughs> yeah, I saw a few of them making marks right here. Calm down. Ooh, that swim bait came right out. First fish of the morning, nothing crazy, but I have a feeling we're gonna get into a few more. I'll take it though, I don't care if they're small. Man, it just feels good to be catching a striper again. By me, locally, I, I ain't catching nothing, so. <laughs> It's always a nice change of pace to get on some fish again. Oh yeah, we're getting hit. This fish right here. Oh look, yeah, he hit right here. Right in front of me. Oh, I might actually have to move back. These fish are really close. Alright, we got another little bass. Fish on, yep. He hit a little bit further out. Another little rat though. Woo. Little guys, got some spunk to them. They're really dark colored, beautiful looking out here. Just wish we were getting some bigger ones. <laughs> Another guy crushed it. Another small little dinker. All right, maybe we'll switch to the bucktail. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's switch to the bucktail now. We know we're getting these little guys on the finback shad. All right, let's go with a three-quarter ounce Big Bill's Bucktail. All right, no bites on the Bucktail. Let's take this bad boy off and 
guess we'll go back to the shed, but let's throw on the uh, Elias peanut shed. All right, here we go. Elias peanut shed. We got this on a three quarter ounce jig head. It's a slightly bigger than the finback shed, so maybe it'll track some bigger bass. All right, that's strange, not a bite on the shed. Either this school already moved out of here or they're just being really picky and only want that finback shed. So let's throw that back on before we move, see if they're still over here. Whoa. Whoa, that's a nice darter. Ooh, this looks like a Super Strike gold black darter. Yeah, look at that. The hooks are barely any rust on them. Oh, this is a sweet find right here. Nice. This will come in handy this fall. wanted to try this spot we got a lot of structure a lot of rocks everywhere oh wow guys look at this I was walking down the beach and I saw this monster striper Wow, this thing is huge. Look at it compared to my foot. Big fish. This thing, I would say easily like 60, 70 pounds. It's huge. Wow, this camera ain't doing justice right now. Ooh, that's a huge one. It's a shame to see it dead though. All right, guys. So let me see what time it is. 7.42 got out here a little after five we've been almost fishing for three hours i just can't seem to find a bite right now we'll continue this video come back next weekend because i don't want to just make a short video with like three fish in it we only caught a couple there in the beginning and um really no size to them but all right let's continue this video i'll see you next week All right, guys, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back. It is exactly one week from what you just watched before. And uh, this week, tide is going out. Last week, I got here, the tide just switched over. It was coming in. I'm thinking this week, we might do a little bit better. It seemed like last week, as the tide was coming in, the bite just died down. So, I don't know, let's find out. Right away, I'm gonna start with the fishaholic finback shad because this worked really well last week. So let's start with this and uh, see if we get into some fish. Oh yeah, we caught a fish right here. <laughs> That's cool. So just like last week, they're really close. Nice little dinker to start off the morning. Yeah, there we are. We hit way out there. This might be a little bit better. see what we got here all right it's a little bit bigger
Look at that, he was hungry. There we go, that's a little bit better. <laughs> he hit a lot further out, so that's where I'm thinking we gotta get this. There might be some better fish. See if I can move up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, we got one right in the wave crashing. <laughs> That's cool. He's a small one. Hey, he's another one. They're choking it. They're hungry. <laughs> Guy's going after a bait that's like half his size. All right, just like last week, I want to throw the bucktail. I want to see if these fish will hit the bucktail because last week they didn't want to. So let's switch real quick and try that out. All right, we're gonna try this Big Bill's Bucktail, three quarter ounce. It's on white and pink. I got a red fat cow curly tail on. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> yeah, they want the bucktail. Right, he's a little bit nicer size. Yeah, he's he's a little bit nicer. Ah, he ripped some of my hairs. All right, so bucktail definitely getting a little bit bigger size bass. Switch the color bucktail up. They don't seem to be going after this one as much anymore. Alright, let's try the green bucktail. It's three quarter ounce. It's got a white head, green hair, chartreuse split tail uh, jig strip. Let's put that finback shad back on. It is not really going after the bucktail as much. Oh, what? No way. I saw a bass just jump out of the water way over here to the side, like pretty far up. I'm gonna cast way down there. Watch, let's see if we get one. He was like way down here. Oh yeah, they, oh, I'm getting hit. They're feeding. <laughs> there we are, we got one. Wow, casting sideways. That's how close they are. Just a little rat, but still fun. I don't know, I saw one jump that he looked like a good 25 inch or you know, like it looked like a decent one, so I'm gonna make a few more casts. Ooh, this feels like a little bit better one. Okay, he's definitely a little bit bigger. Oh no. <laughs> he's still small. <laughs> I don't know, I thought when I saw him jump out of the water and hit this, it looked like a bigger one was going for it. I'm just trying to convince myself, I guess. <laughs>
All right, guys, I think the bite is just absolutely gone now. It just seems like as the sun comes up, that bite really slows up. But you know what? I think I caught enough fish to kind of make this a video. <laughs> I know we were not getting big size at all. I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't even going after like big size fish. I just wanted to catch some something again, you know, because man, these summer doldrums have been killing me. So we did it. We finally got some striped bass. They were small, but hey, it was awesome. We caught some. But uh, yeah, drop me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.